Reefers. I'm Danny from Coral Lesson. Today it's Mistake Monday, and this mistake is one that really frustrates the crap out of me because it was preventable and I walked away too soon. I was in a hurry, I moved in an enemy, I didn't make sure that the foot was seated, and my strong propeller had sucked it up. You can see here it's twisted and tangled in there. Luckily, I came down not too early, but I, I'm hoping I can save this anemone. I'm going to peel it out of this propeller and give it a little dip and just pray that this thing makes it. It's a shame. This is a beautiful carpet and it got stuck in the propeller. This can happen to anyone. This is why they sell foam guards that go over there. Um, this is one reason why I love closed loop systems. Um, not to mention the algae and the light on propellers. They have to be cleaned regularly. So anyway, this is just a whole round ah, ah, moment that when you see your enemy caught in your propeller, it's very frustrating. I was looking for the plug and this is a new propeller I just put in there to increase circulation and I didn't even have the plug accessible or marked like I know I should. So like I always tell everyone, haste makes waste in this reefing hobby. If you know you're in the middle of something, don't walk away and if you can't help it, Make sure somebody is watching for you because it can be a costly headache. But there's really no other way to avoid this than pay attention to your tank. And if an anemone is on the move, turn off your pump until that thing has set its foot in place. I had just put this anemone in there and I didn't wait long enough. And like I said, I was just assuming the tank that things would be fine on its own. But without any rocks or anywhere for it to really hold on to, the current just swept it up and pushed it right into the propeller. So just beware, I'm just letting you guys know this is a terrible mistake on my behalf. Um, and as always, thanks for watching and happy reefing. Please feel free to leave your questions or comments below. Until next time.